All right, good morning. We're in a hurry. Uh, remember the snowstorm stopped us last night, so we're awake now for our minimum amount of sleep that we had to have, or a minimum amount of break. Just getting into the driver's seat here. We've got to rush into Mississauga. They're gonna to try to receive us today yet, if they can, but uh, the only way they can is if we rush in there right now. So we're gonna do that. If we stay here, we're definitely not getting unloaded. And I just received the word, just as we left the on-road there, that uh, they're not gonna unload us till tomorrow morning. Oh, oh, what's happening here? Look at this. Look at this. I went in this lane because there was a cop on that side, but look at this. Whoops. Check this out right here. That's not where you park. Wow. There's another truck in the ditch on the other side, upside down. Woo! Whoops. I won't be delivering until tomorrow, 7.30 a.m. now. So uh, we'll make do. We'll make it work. Maybe I'll go see a movie tonight, Mrs. R. I don't know. Uh, it's really too bad that snowstorm came in last night. Really too bad. I messed up my whole week now. There's another truck in the ditch on the left side over there. Looks like he flipped right around on that side of traffic. See that? Wow. Whoops! That's not where you park it either, driver. I know I was talking about bad parking in the, the parking lot last night, but that takes the cake. All jokes aside, it looks like he was okay. But now you know why I parked last night and why I didn't continue going, right? I didn't want to be one of those guys in the ditch, because you know, if I was that guy, there would be some YouTuber driving past making jokes about me. Another one in the ditch over there on the left. I tell you, terrible parking last night. Here's another one coming up on the right here. Ooh, must have been bad last night yet. That's the fourth one we've seen in 10 minutes. We're gonna count, see how many we see on the way to Toronto. There he is. Well, looks like we got us another winner up ahead here. Highway's blocked. I'm guessing they're pulling trucks out, so the tow truck's probably blocking the highway. I saw another truck just a little while ago in the ditch. Uh, so that was five that we've seen so far. And with this one, whatever this is up here, I'm assuming it's a truck in the ditch. This will be six trucks in less than half an hour. Just stopped here. Second stop of the day, actually. Since we uh, don't have an appointment till tomorrow morning now, I figured I'd make an extra stop here and get a second Timmy's because, well, I didn't win. Still roll up the rim season here in Canada and the States, I think. Uh, as you can see here, maybe, it says, please play again. So I'm being obedient to Timmy's and I'm gonna play again. I'm a good guy, I listen. Oh, and here we are back at our Husky and now that we got here at a decent time we got a decent spot right diesel we're right on the edge here so not quite in there there's a driveway over there but there's barrels right beside me you can probably see one in my mirror there i'm right up against it so uh, i won't have any neighbors on that side too close to me anyway sometimes they park on the other side of the barrels anyways like that guy did there on the right not supposed to do that but they do it anyways because it's canada and there's a huge empty space here for whoever wants to park beside me yet hopefully not a reefer Hopefully not someone who's gonna idle their truck all night with an excessively loud muffler, or no muffler at all, but whatever. At least we're here, right Diesel? We've got a good spot. We're gonna be here till 7.30 a.m. tomorrow. I just walked Diesel a little bit, and the phone's going crazy because I'm just letting everyone know that, hey, I'm parked here in Mississauga. Gonna be sitting here a while, but that's good because I have a few vlogs to edit, so I needed this time. Uh, I could have done without it. I mean, if the snowstorm wouldn't have slowed me down yesterday. It would have been unloaded and on my way to Ottawa right now. But I've had a really good month. February was a really good month. So 
you know, you can only have good luck for so long and then eventually, you know, the next month comes along in March. Oh, wow. Not as lucky this month, but I uh, probably won't get as many miles this month because I want to go home for a few days. So after I'm done this load, they have another one lined up uh, for me coming out of Quebec that's going home towards Winnipeg. And uh, I don't know how long I'm going to stay home, but I should be getting home around next weekend sometime after the weekend, either Sunday night or Monday morning, Monday afternoon. And then I'd like to stay home, you know, like four days. I've been on the road a whole month with, I was only home one day last month. I had three or four days off last month, but I was only home one day last month. So I'd like to uh, cash in on that and hopefully be able to spend three to four days at home and get out there, hang out with people and then get back in the truck and do her again, right Diesel? That's what we do. I just edited four vlogs. Four. Count them, one, two, three, four. Took a little while. So, without saying, it's dark outside now. You can tell. <laughs> I'm excited though, because remember I told you we might go see a movie uh, when I, uh, Stay here in Mississauga. There's a theater just down the street on Courtney Park Drive, and it's 1.2 kilometers away, just under a mile. Uh, it's a nice little walk there and back for me. Uh, gets my heart pumping a little bit, gets me walking, gets me moving, gets me out of the truck. I got tickets to go watch uh, Deadpool in the IMAX. I was gonna go and watch it in a regular theater, but it was too soon, I was gonna miss it. So it was playing an hour later in the IMAX. I was like, eh, all right, let's go see. Yeah, so we're gonna go watch a movie alone. Don't judge me. We're speed walking. When I left, Google said it was gonna take 18 minutes to walk there, and I have 25 minutes till the beginning of the show. I just checked again, said I have eight minutes to walk, and I have 12 minutes, or yeah, 12 minutes to the beginning of my show. I'm wearing my toque and my warmer jacket just for the walk. I have my hat along so that I don't have to wear this goofy toque into the theater. Not that I would be ashamed of representing the Jets in there, but just a little goofy. Well, that was a little bit of a chilly walk, I'm not gonna lie. A little bit of chilly walk. Ch chilly, a Chilliwack. Chilly, chilly walk in Chilliwack. No, we're not in Chilliwack, British Columbia. But next time I'm gonna think of that, next time I'm in Chilliwack, I'm gonna go for a chilly walk in Chilliwack. <laughs> I cannot be the first person who has discovered that. <laughs> oh, the movie was great. Uh, it was funny. A uh, movie not for the kids, but it was it was worth the worth the watch. I went to the IMAX theater to view it, but uh, Diesel had to stay here. Sorry, Diesel. I could only afford one ticket. And you don't speak English anyway. Well. He understands it, he doesn't speak it. I've tried to get him to talk, he just doesn't want to talk. Sometimes I wonder if they could, if they wanted to, but they all just choose not to. Oh, it turns flats on in here. I'm not wearing my hat, I always feel naked without my hat, but whatever, you guys don't mind, do you? I'm here, whatever, I don't care. It was good to put on my nice jacket again, I haven't worn it in a while, because I usually save it for winter time, right? And I don't want to wear it out too fast, because it was an expensive jacket. It's my favorite one. I hang it back up here in my fancy closet. And I uh, guess I'll check on my vlogs that I up, uh, rendered. Make sure that they're done. And upload the ones that I need to upload. Come on, hey, come on. Come on, get in there. Get in there. All right. We'll take it from there. Thank you for watching over the truck while I was gone. You were a great assistant to the good weasel. Good boy. You guys are a solid team. Solid team. You can always count on you too. So here we go. Getting ready for bed. Thanks for watching today, guys. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we didn't go very far, but at least I got to go watch a movie, right? I think I'm gonna go to bed early today just because I've gotta get up early. I've gotta be at my customer for 7.30. Oh, I've gotta be up at like 6.45, rolling by like 7.15, because I'm like just down the street. And then I'll be there at like 7.25 and then hopefully we can get this all banged off like nobody's business. And then we'll be off to Ottawa. We're gonna sleep at Ottawa. We're gonna go to that Petro Canada again. Hopefully there'll be a parking spot for me this week. And then we unload in Ottawa and then Montreal. And then I'm supposed to go further into Quebec, uh, a little bit further, still in Montreal, uh, to pick up some freight that's going to Winnipeg. So. <coughs> that is the plan for the next couple of days. You 
to see what's going to happen tomorrow. If you tune in at 4 a.m. Central Time or anytime after that, the next vlog will be live. Don't forget to share this video to your friends on your social media. If you liked it, put it on your Facebook. See if your friends will like it. Hey, if you liked it, they might like it too. Just saying. If you thought it was weird, hey, they might think it's weird too. Share it anyways. Couldn't hurt. Hit that like button and I'll see you tomorrow.